Tommy in class, opening his eyes, he finds himself with a bruised nose and a swollen face. He asks his classmate. The classmate tells him he had been beaten up by his senior. Tommy then realized his memory of the past few days had completely disappeared. Tommy was an ordinary college student. One day someone jumped to his death near his home. He went to watch. He saw the man being taken to hospital for treatment. As he walked past Tommy, the man left a key behind. Tommy picked it up and looked at it. The pattern on it looked very familiar. Isn't it the same pattern on his door? As a child. Tommy was always warned by his family, don't open that weird door. Tommy opened the door without fear of death. He came to class and found out that the door could fast forward time. Happy to go through the door again, trying to fast forward to the end of the exam. He travels to the end of the exam. The wound on his face has healed. His grades were good. Even the goddess said yes to his confession and became his girlfriend. Although Tommy has no memory of confessing, but that didn't stop him from hugging the rich girl. Tommy was so happy that he was about to kiss her, but the goddess thought it was too fast. Tommy was told to wait a little longer. All Tommy could think about was wanting to do this and that with his goddess. He couldn't wait to get inside the door. This time Tommy was in a hospital. He walked into the ward and saw the senior was injured. He saw himself and apologized profusely. What was that all about? The classmates blamed Tommy. You're the one who beat up the senior. He left the hospital inexplicably. He was chased by a punk claiming that the other day Tommy robbed them of their money. Tommy screamed that he was innocent. But when he saw the extra $100,000 in his wallet, when was completely dumbfounded, the punk even pulled out a photo of the robbery. Tommy was even more dumbfounded when he saw it. The man in the photo was not him. It was his brother. First time he fast-forwarded time, he skipped exam week. The second time he fast-forwarded through time, the goddess becomes his girlfriend. Little did he know that the third time he fast-forwarded, the third time he fast-forwarded, something went terribly wrong. Tommy asked his girlfriend to show him a picture of the two of them together. His girlfriend obediently took out her phone. Tommy's eyes turned green, and there it was. It was all about his brother hugging Tommy's girlfriend and showing affection. He asked his classmate for another photo. The photo was also full of his brother. The strange thing was that no matter who he asked to see it, the attitude of the people he asked was very firm. They thought the person in the photo was Tommy himself. Tommy realized there was something wrong with the door. He opened his childhood photo album when he was a child. His brother and he looked very much alike. How come when he grew up, he looked like he was born to the old man next door? Tommy looked at it. His lost memories came back in a flash. His father had just died that year. His brother was always being bullied at school. He was fed up with the bullying. He wanted to travel to a better future. The black-rimmed glasses his brother wore. They were the same as the ones worn by the man who jumped off the building yesterday. Tommy immediately realized. The man who jumped off the building was his real brother. The creepy man with one eye was a fake brother. He rushed to the hospital to find his brother. He listened to his brother story. It turned out that in order to escape bullying at school, he entered the door. At first, he fast-forwarded for a week. Then it was a month. Finally, he fast-forwarded straight to 10 years. When he opened his eyes again, he was already in this world. During the 10 years, he had been unconscious. A monster had taken over his body. It was that creepy man. He took control of his brother's body and did whatever he wanted. For the past 10 years, everyone thought the creep was him. Tommy was no exception. Two days ago, his brother took back his body. He passed Tommy by. Tommy didn't even recognize his brother. It was was only then that he realized his life had been turned upside down by a lecherous man. And then, in desperation, he jumped off a building. He ordered Tommy not to enter the weird door. And then he died. Tommy returns home, angry at the door that took his brother from him. He wanted to seal the door. But then a pair of strange hands came out from behind the door and dragged him into the hallway door. The door slammed shut. Tommy had to resign himself to entering the corridor. Through the windows on both sides of the corridor, Tommy saw a lot of weird things. On the one hand, the creepy guy killing the punk. On the other side, the creep is defiling Tommy's girlfriend. It was all about the creep using Tommy's body to do bad things. The more Tommy watched, the more scared he became. He didn't expect the creep to be like Sadako. He came in through the window. He went straight into the oddball mode. Tommy was too scared to move. He closed his eyes and waited for death, only to find that the creep was gone. He was so relieved. He turns his head to find the creep right behind him. My luck. <laughs> was scared and angry, running through the exit. Once again, his eyes went white. This time Tommy was awakened by a sound. His girlfriend had become his wife, and they had a daughter together. So it's 10 years later. Tommy hurriedly got up. He looked through the photos in a panic. He felt a green meadow above his head. In all the family photos, the creepy smiling faces of men, the wife he loved most. For 10 years, she'd been taken over by a man like that. Tommy looked in the mirror, even more frightened. In the mirror. He saw himself. He looked exactly like the creep. Slowly, Tommy let go of his hand. Outside the mirror, he slowly shed tears. In the mirror, he smiled creepily.